Yo, what up, everybody? It's your girl, Shannon A. Shonda Baskin, and you are back, back to watching TGIF TV. If you watched the last episode, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's always been a lifetime dream of mine to have my own TV show, and I finally got it, all right? It's Easter weekend. I'm pretty sure churches is going to be packed out. You're going to have those greens, potatoes, yams, tomatoes. You're going to have all that on that plate. We definitely want to hop into the show real quick. We got the alphas. We got the calpas. We got the Q-Dogs. You got to stay tuned to figure out what's going on with them. But campus has been lit. If you don't know, I go to Tennessee State University. And I definitely want to just highlight some of the major events that's been happening on campus. I'm your girl, Shondon. You're watching TGIF TV. And it's happening right now. We back and we back and we black and we back. What is up? It's your girl Sean Don. You are watching TGIF TV. We're gonna go ahead and hop into the show, all right? First up, you know I love music, so I definitely gotta talk about the hottest tracks and the hottest albums that's just dropped. Logic, if you don't know who he is, I just recently found out that Logic was biracial, but the rapper just dropped a new single called Everybody. Yeah. The boy got bars, so I'm a little confused about what the song mean. Um, but it's an okay track. Shout out to Logic, man. Uh, his album, he definitely been putting in a lot of work. He just dropped a documentary for that. Um, I think his album dropped in May, actually. So I definitely got to take a listen and see what's going on with him. Because the boy got bars, not really feeling the single. Frank Ocean, though. Yes. Frank Ocean just recently released the single on his Blondie radio show on Apple Music featuring Hov. <laughs> yes, Hov, Jay-Z. Featuring Hov, Jay-Z, Jay-Z straight killed it. Tyler the Creator. I just recently started getting to Tyler the Creator. I didn't like him at first. Man, that dude could rap his butt off. The song is hot, it's fire. Definitely gotta check it out if you haven't heard it yet. It's called Viking. The next person, let me see. The next person who dropped the album, his name is T Grizzly. It's a rapper from Michigan. If you don't know, I'm from Michigan. I rub Michigan hard, Michigan State, Michigan Wolverines, Detroit Pistons, Motown, etc., etc., etc. T Grizzly just dropped, I don't know if it was an album or a mixtape. I haven't got a chance to listen to it yet. The guy is known for his single called First Day Out, Hot Track. If you you if you like that song, you might want to check his album out. I don't know if it's hot or not. We we'll have to see. Let me see, who else just dropped some music? Joey Badass just dropped his music. I love Joey Badass ever since his 1999 mixtape. Uh, the title of his album is called The All-American Badass. Key features that he have on there is J. Cole. Styles P, yes, I stay high, high. Huh? Oh, it's, uh, say ha! Huh? Styles P is on that album. Another feature he got is uh, Schoolboy Q. So definitely gotta check out Joey Badass. I browse through it very quickly. I did like what I hear. It's very mellow. It's a Joey Badass album. Talking about, you know, America, different issues. With his spin on there. If you like Joey Badass, make sure you check it out. So up next, man, we definitely want to jump into this news package. Tennessee State University has a wonderful theater program. They have wonderful actors, directors. I just wrapped up the show a couple of months ago. I did The Wiz. Had a great opportunity. TSU was doing for Color Girls, and they did it this semester. So if you haven't checked it out, it's cool. We got some footage to show you, so stay tuned for that. And after that, we want to show you how Courtyard Wednesday has been lit. First Wednesday out has been lit. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Tennessee State University may be known for the aristocratic bands Inner Athletics, but over the years, the theater department has been making a splash. Recently, they decided to honor the classic for colored girls who have considered suicide when the rainbow is enough 40th anniversary by bringing the stage play to the Performing Arts Center. For Colored Girls is a play that consists of poetry that celebrates women of color. The 
play shed light on women's dreams, struggles, and relationships, giving a voice to women that are sometimes overlooked and underappreciated. People may be more familiar with the film directed by Tyler Perry, which was also a hit that starred Janet Jackson, but it doesn't amount to seeing the ladies on stage performing their monologues about rape, self-worth, and abortion. It will give you goosebumps and a few tears is destined to fall as you hear the ladies share some of the same stories your mom or grandma shared with you. The play is directed by Dr. Lawrence James, and the cast and crew did a wonderful job reaching women today with this classic production. I'm Shandon A. Baskin, representing TGIF News, and I'm out. For Color Girls, I'm pretty sure everybody's seen the movie. If you haven't seen the play, if you get a chance, please go see the play. It's, it's very powerful for women. Like, I had goosebumps. You seen the footage I got, it was pretty dope. Up next, we're going to go ahead and jump into this uh this this courtyard Wednesday, man, it was lit. I was surprised. And if the footage looked kind of off, you know, I'm a better videographer than that. I use my iPhone. I call it iPhone Ministries when I don't have a camera with me. I'm going to use my iPhone to cover the story. But you got to check it out, man. You got to check out the Alphas. They just returned. Camp has been crazy. The Cap was just got a new line. So definitely you will enjoy this new segment talking about courtyard Wednesday. Ladies and gentlemen, Courtyard Wednesday is back at TSU and it's lit. With the return of the Mighty Alphas, it definitely felt like the old TSU to see all the degrees stump the yard to some of the hottest records out. The campus had been buzzing since the Alphas and Kappas probate, and the new lines couldn't wait to get their scroll on. The cues brought their energy as always, and the courtyard was packed with steps, style, and music. It's your girl Shundan with TGIF TV, and I'm out. I know, man. It was lit, right? Definitely, man. I'm trying to tell everybody. If, if I was a dude, I definitely would try to play for a Q. I'm a Q dog at heart. I, I love the way they stump. I love their energy. But anyways, that's not it. TSU just recently held their blue and uh, blue versus white football game. And I was there to get some footage as well. So make sure you guys check this clip out. During the Alvin Cat Coleman Legends Weekend, the Tennessee State Tigers held their annual blue and white spring football game at the hole. It was a nice breezy day, so no wonder it was packed with students, faculty, and the community as they scout the team. Even though it was only a scrimmage and the season hasn't started yet, a lot of people were very excited to see the Tigers' potential for next season. The football team ended last season 7-4 overall and 4-3 in their conference. Team Blue ended up winning the game over the white team. The score was 37-15 and the players was very pumped at the end of the game and so was the crowd. Coach Reed went and gave his boys a few words of encouragement as they continued their journey into next season. With blue ice rushing through the players' veins, who would have thought it was homecoming? Recently, the athletic department released the football schedule and Big Blue will be playing Jacksonville State in their last game. <laughs> Players even had the chance to greet family and friends after the game. Shit.
Anthony Baskin with TSU News 98, and I'm out. I'm your host, Shandon A. Shondon Baskin. You are watching TGIF TV, man. We're going to wrap it up, Tennessee State. I go to an HBCU. I get to see this every day. You might not. You might go to a PWI, which is cool. But I definitely want to highlight some things that goes on around campus. I love when the Greeks stump the yard. I love our football team. I just love the whole atmosphere. So that's the reason why I did this show on today. All right? Make sure you watch us on YouTube. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all of that. Follow us. And stay tuned next week or the next episode. It's going to be strictly fashion. What are some of the hottest tips right now, the hottest trends right now for spring and summer? I'm your girl, Sean Don, and that's it. Happy Resurrection Sunday, and happy Easter as well. Take care, man. Let it go. 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 Let it go.